Okay, let's go ahead and do a cutting video. Um, first off, the, the most obvious one, let's cut this open and see if my theory is right about it being a geode. Um, gonna slice through the center of that hole going a long ways and see what's inside. I suspect what's inside is dirty because the hole was exposed to the river and it's probably got all kinds of debris and whatnot inside. So we'll do that. This is a, a, a big quartz knob that I found and uh, in these I have found uh, vitroidal pockets, I have found crystal pockets, and I have found all kinds of beautiful plumy, cloudy, white and clear um, chalcedony slash agate um, inside. So I'm curious what I'll find in this one. I'm going to slice it right through the center of that. And this is um, this is the the red uh, crinoid fossils and such. And I'm really um, I'm really curious to slice that open, slice that up, and um, see how the pattern reveals itself inside. I, I really like the way it looks on the outside. I think it'll it'll be really nice. I'm hoping. And then three smaller pieces. Um, this one, of course, is the banded the banded piece that I found. Uh, it's a very fine grain uh, silica. Uh, the thing that concerns me about this is there is a spot right here that looks like it was chipped off and the bands are just barely visible and so I wonder if by weathering the bands become more visible on the outside and this is just dark on the inside um, I'm hoping that the the bands are visible on the inside because this would be an excellent piece to to make cabochons out of so we'll see that in a little bit this one I just like the the, the pluminess of um, focus on it here the the pluming uh, nature of, of the coloration and the coloration and I'd like to slice that up and make some cabochons if the inside looks as good as the outside does and this one's kind of a wild card I don't know if the coloration is river staining um, or whether it's, uh, you know, it's the actual color of the stone and the various uh, mixtures inside. So I'd like to slice that up too. And if the color and the pattern, uh, kind of the plume or mossiness transfers to the inside, I think that would be another excellent uh, piece of chalcedony to, uh, make cabochons out of so those are my six pieces I try to choose six pieces and um, we'll uh, see what they look like in a little bit here okay here we go so let's start with the geode it was as I expected a geode and it was because it had a hole in it, it was very dirty on the inside. So this isn't the best view of it uh, because of its dirtiness. I am actually going to work on soaking this in uh, vinegar and or iron out and, and what not and try to clean that up and see if I can't uh, by the end of the video show you a, a better product. We'll see what I can accomplish between now and when I post this but um, yeah it's a geode uh, lots of crystal uh, quartz crystal uh, activity there and so that's how that turned out uh, and the quartz the quartz knobby um, was like this and it's I'm gonna spray one part you're gonna see that if I can get it to spray you're gonna see that like some of the others that I have cut it has kind of 
what I call a, a cloudy or a, a plumy type um, design in there between the white and the clear. What was kind of a disappointment to me is how uh, pitted and how many holes are in there. Um, but when it's dry, you aren't going to be able to see it here, but when it's dry, each one of those holes is a tiny druzy pocket. So there's, there's lots of sparkles in there. Um, but from a lapidary standpoint, the, all those pits and holes make it um, maybe not the, the most optimal to work and do something with. So I really don't know what I'm going to do with this. But that's how that turned out. And my favorite uh, piece, this uh, crinoid, um, crinoid in chalcedony, multicolored. We have some yellow brown and we have some red, but um, but absolutely, I'm thrilled with the results. The 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 size of the fossils in here. Are bigger than what I typically uh, find and the clarity of the rock usually the rock that I'm cutting or the rock that these sort of fossils are in is rather opaque um, and this one if I were to shine a flashlight through you'd be able to see light come through it very clear um, by comparison to everything else that I've cut. And I'll just go through, I, I sliced it all up into slices because just I was fascinated with the design that I see here. I was hoping for a little bit more red. There's a little quartz pocket there, but um, but uh, I'm happy with what I got with the with the yellows and the reds together. Don't know that I'll be making cabochons out of this, except for maybe the end pieces. Um, but most of these will probably just be polished up as displays. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm really happy with the results there. It's probably of of the crinoid type. Fossils, it's probably the best piece that I've, I've collected yet. When it comes to this banded shirt piece, I was happy to see that the design did uh, translate to the inside. And so we got uh, a bunch of pieces of uh, slices of these banded shirt. Now, unfortunately, as is the case for uh, glacial till rocks and, and, and river tumbled rocks, they all have um, cracks in them so as I was hoping to um, have something to make cabochons out of um, I mean this has a split going over here and a split here so really there if I make cabochons out of these pieces they're going to be really small cabochons this piece which is the end piece actually has the most potential uh, in that the, the primary split is across this side and this side. This in the center is not a split, I don't believe. And so I'm thinking I might be able to get a, one in the center here and make a cabochon out of that. But um, really pleased with, uh, with how that turned out. And I was surprised and pleased with, with the others as well. Um, the, uh, Spray this off. Uh, I don't know. Again, I don't know the differentiation between a, uh, a plume agate and um, what's the other one they call it? Uh, moss agate. Um, but this has some clarity to it. 
and it has a lot going on in there. The coloration is, is beautiful, and so I think I'm going to take one of the end pieces, maybe both the end pieces, and uh, make cabochons out of those. Um, really like, really like the design. That was the one that was kind of the wild card, and I really wasn't sure. And then this one, um, this one turned out to be more opaque than I expected, um, but the coloration, I really like the coloration, and uh, those are destined to become a couple cabochons right there as well. So there you go. That's our cutting video for today. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you on the next video.